What a tight group that is, and I thought I'd switch things up for, the, uh, for today. But you guys ready for this one? The Simon Whitlock Darts Review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. So we've got a pretty good video for you today. In this video, we're going to be taking a close-up look at the Winmore Simon Whitlock darts. Now, a couple weeks ago, I had a subscriber get a hold of me. He wanted to do a trade, and he happened to have this set up for offer. So I jumped all over the trade. I thought it was a great deal. And the reason why I got the Simon Whitlock darts is because that's going to encourage me to finally make some Simon Whitlock points out of these Allen keys. So I've always wanted to do that. I've got all the tools. So I figured I might as well do it with the Simon Whitlock darts. So that video is going to be coming up sometime in the near future. I'm not sure when. I'm kind of lazy now that the weather's getting nice. I'm outdoors a lot, but I promise you it is coming soon. So yeah, we're going to make some Allen key points and uh, I'm not even sure how they're going to come out, but they will be installed in his darts. Well, anyway, let's grab the other camera. We'll take a close up look at these things, go over some stats and dimensions, and then we'll take them to the board and see how they fly. And believe it or not, once you get used to them, I know they're like a really unusual shape, but once you get used to them, they do fly really, really well. So here we go, guys. Should be a pretty good video. Okay, so we've got the Simon Whitlock darts for today, 22 grams. And as you see here, it comes in this pretty standard one more cardboard packaging. I already took the darts out of the case for a picture for the thumbnail, so I wasn't gonna to bother to put them back in. But what do you just say we just jump right into some stats and dimensions and we'll go from there. Okay, so there we go. Very unusual shaped barrels to say the least. But as you see here, we have the Prism Force stems. Those are a medium length. And then we have the one more standard size flights on the back end. But writing down some stats and dimensions, this is a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 50.8 millimeters long and the barrel width at the widest point right here in the smooth section, 7.1 millimeters wide. Now, in case you're wondering about this rear section, it's kind of weird. This tapers as well. So at the start of these razor grips, 6.3 millimeters wide and then we're right here on the back end of the razor grip, 6.8 millimeters wide. So it actually tapers here in the rear and the front. Now the weight on these things, they were advertised as 22 grams. Actually the, wet, the uh, match weighting was really good here. 22.05 grams, 22.06 grams, and finally 22.08 grams, only three one hundredths of a gram off. So the match weighting here from Winmore, excellent job there. But let's get a little bit closer look. Alrighty then, there's a nice close up look at these crazy looking barrels. And if you focus your attention right there, the back end of the barrel, We've got the Winmore logo there, but why do you say we start on the front end like we normally do? And obviously with darts, this tapered, extremely tapered, aren't they? You're going to be hitting some tight, tight 180s. I think it's fair to say Simon Whitlock probably throws some of the tightest 180s on the PDC circuit. Man, he groups them tight. However, with that being said, not a fan of this lip where the point meets the barrel. That can be easily rectified using... Maybe the Winmore Free Flow points, the Red Dragon Trident points, or you could even slap on the Target Storm points. I think that would be a perfect fit. Get that perfect smooth transition from point to barrel. Group your darts even tighter. Nice black points there. However, they only stick out of the barrel 26 millimeters long, so a little bit on the short side. If I was to play with these darts, I would 100% repoint them. A little bit longer points, and yeah, definitely eliminate that point or that lip where the point meets the barrel. Now, heading back to the barrels themselves, let's talk about the grip a little bit. You know, it all depends on where you're gonna be gripping those darts. I am gonna be gripping pretty much right here, which is pretty much dead center of the barrel. If you look at this line here going forward, that is 28 millimeters long. If you look at this point here going backwards, 22.8 millimeters long. So yeah, I'm gripping right here, pretty much dead middle of the barrel. Now these multi-rings here in the front end, I guess they offer a little bit of grip. They're not sharp or anything like that. I'd go ahead and give them a level three grip on a scale of one to five. However, if you grip here on the back end, right here in these razor grips, wow, those things are sharp. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a level four grip on a scale of one to five. So I don't know how I'm gonna throw these things. I think, I guess I'll try them with the stock setup. We'll see how they go. I'm not quite sure how they'll fly, but yeah, let's get these things on the board and see how they do. I'm not too sure about this. 
All right, guys, let's have a few throws with the Simon Whitlock darts. And um, as you see there, completely stocked setup. However, uh, last night I actually ended up breaking one of the stems. So broke one of the stems and I'm missing one of the stem ring clips. It's probably on the floor here somewhere. And with that being said, all the other clips you watched, that was done yesterday, April 14th. Today's April 15th. And yes, I had to go with the same shirt two days in a row, but we're going to do this clip today and see how it goes. But the Simon Whitlock darts, not an easy dart to throw. Like once you take them out of the box, you know how you, you uh, get a new set of darts, you take them out of the box and immediately you're throwing them well. Not the case with these things. This is one of those darts or one of these barrels that you just have to get used to. You kind of have to figure out where you're going to grip these things. But once you do, man, they do fly really well. And you know what? They remind me a lot of these things. They are the Loxley Robin darts. I did a review on those, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. But um, the, the reason they, uh, they seem similar to me is because both of these are not an easy dart to throw right out of the gate. However, once you get used to them, man, what a great set of darts. So now that the camera's on, let's see how this goes. I think we'll do five turns here. And like I said, I'm gripping kind of right on that, uh, the thickest point, the bulbous section. That seems to be most comfortable for me. See, there we go. That one was perfectly right down the middle. And the grip is fairly mild up front. But yeah, like I said in the review, I would 100% repoint these things. And if you see that, man, that dart is standing up a lot. So I feel pretty confident I can get underneath of that. Just like that. That was a perfect marker dart. And actually, that was probably the best example I've ever had of a marker dart. The dart was standing up ever so slightly above the treble 20 wire. That second dart came in, deflected, went right into the treble 20. So what a perfect marker dart there. I love how these things stand up. And now, see that second one went in kind of an angle? Just go for a cover shot. Hey, hey nice shot. But yeah, these things are definitely standing up. It's a really long dart as well, especially with these medium length stems. A little longer than I prefer, but they do seem to work fairly well. Again, I'll try to get under that. Oh, I did. No deflection though, but that first dart wasn't standing up as much as the, uh, the previous turn. You know, I'm not sure where Simon Whitlock grabs the dart or holds the dart. I'm not sure. Is he a rear gripper on this razor grip? I looked at some of the videos before I did this review, and it's really hard to tell because he's, he's kind of got that, like the straight finger grip on it. I mean, I guess you could hold the dart way in the back, but that grip just doesn't work for me. Yeah, I can't get under that one. That one went in kind of flat, that second dart. I mean, standing up a little bit, but not enough for me to get under it. But I'd be curious to hear or to read your comments and what you think of the Simon Whitlock dart, if you've ever tried it or not, because like I said, it is an unusual dart, but once you get used to it, man, it is a fun set to play with. You know, for 22 grams, these don't really feel, I would say they don't feel like 22 grams. To me, they feel a little bit lighter, and maybe because the weight is spread out over a further distance, it's a really long dart. But yeah, they feel a little bit lighter to me. So anyway, guys, I guess that was five turns. But as always, I do have one more clip for you. So hope you enjoy it. A few moments later. Kind of a weird angle there. Oh, that's right in the middle of the bed. That one, I don't know, I think that's in. Ah, 
that second one was in. Boom, and I don't have the boom shirt. Get in. Three, one, and that's number two right there. Well, great place to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the close-up look at the Winmore Simon Whitlock darts. And again, I promise, whoops, we will do the Allen Key point review sometime here, probably in the next couple weeks. Although I don't promise anything, but yeah, I will like to, I would like to get that video done pretty soon because I think that's kind of a neat thing, making steel tip points out of Allen keys. Well, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy the video, thumbs up are always appreciated. So until next time, guys, we'll see ya on the next video. Later. Loving that board, too, by the way.